Have you ever wanted something so badly that it consumed your every thought? Picture this. You've planted the seed of a dream. You water it with expectations, nurture it with plans, and wait for it to bloom with success and joy. You want this dream to come true so badly that you pursue it with everything you have. But despite your best efforts, those dreams didn't sprout the way you imagined they would. That's when you realize you may have fallen into the trap of false hope. In today's episode, which is part one of a two-part series, we are going to have a conversation about something that touches all of our lives the pitfalls of false hope as we pursue our dreams. Think of this. When you were a kid, you would wish upon a star. Well, it's sort of like that. Go grab your notebook and pen and let's dive in. Welcome to Choose True Happiness, the faith-infused podcast for dreamers, believers, and achievers. This is where dreams are ignited, gratitude and joy fill the air, and your vision for the future takes flight as you partner with God to co-create a happier, more fulfilling life. Hi, I'm your host, Donna Berger, your Dream Catalyst Mentor and Radiant Mindset Coach. Join me each week for inspiration, motivation, and education as we embark on this spirit-led journey that empowers you to focus forward toward your radiant future. Welcome back, my friend. I am so happy you're here. False hope is the illusion of a promise that your dreams will come true exactly as you envision them without recognizing God's hand in shaping their outcomes. It's when you convince yourself that your plans is the ultimate one, often forgetting that while you can make your plans, it's God who determines your steps. Proverbs 16, 9, a man's heart plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. This verse highlights the idea that while individuals can make their own plans, it is ultimately God who guides them and determines how those plans unfold. Okay, so first, let's define false hope. False hope is like a mirage in the desert. It's a confident feeling about something that is not actually true. It promises satisfaction, fulfillment, and joy, but it's not based on reality. It's based on our own desires, often not checked by prayer or aligned with God's will. It's those career aspirations, relationship goals, or even material milestones that we chase thinking they will become our ultimate happiness. I mean, have you ever said to yourself, if only I had that job, that relationship, that house, then I'd be happy. I know I have. But here's the thing. Those are all external. And while there's nothing wrong with dreams and goals, the problem creeps in when we place all our hope in those things instead of in God's plan for us. Let's walk through the pitfalls of false hope because only by knowing them can we navigate our way to true hope, the hope that does not disappoint because it's anchored in God's promises. Disappointment. When our dreams don't align with God's will, we face inevitable disappointment. It's like planting an apple tree and expecting oranges. Okay, spoiler alert. This will be part two of the series. Okay, control illusion. Believing we're in in complete control of our destiny is a pitfall. While we do have free will, it's within the sovereignty of God's grand design. When you recognize these, it's the first step toward change. So what's the way forward? How do we avoid these pitfalls? Well, number one, you can lean into prayerful planning. 
Involve God in your dreams. Seek His wisdom and let your plans be flexible in His hands. Number two, you can practice the art of surrender. Surrender the illusion of control and trust that God is working things out for your good, even when it doesn't look like you expected. Now, here are more ways to recognize the pitfalls of false hope. I mean, it's tricky, right? Because hope is a good thing. But let's look at a few signs that might suggest our hope is not rooted in the firm soil of faith. Number one, you feel anxious and restless all the time. Like if you don't achieve this one thing, everything else is meaningless. Number two, you might be ignoring the still, small voice, God's voice, that is nudging you in a different direction. Number three, you find little to no joy in the present moment because you're so fixated on this dream that you're not enjoying your everyday life. But here's good news. There's a solution, and it lies in shifting your perspective from false hope to true hope. Okay, so here are five steps to support you. Step one, pray for discernment. Ask God to reveal his dreams for you, which, by the way, are so much greater than you can even imagine. Step two, practice gratitude. Be thankful for where you are, and you have everything you need right here, right now. It's not about complacency. It's about finding joy in the journey. Step three, trust in God's timing. Remember, our timeline is not always aligned with His, but His timing is perfect. Step four, community. It's important to surround yourself with faith-based women who can remind you of these truths, women who can uplift you and keep you anchored in real hope. Now, if this speaks to you and you're looking for community, come join us over in my private Facebook group. You can find the link in the description. Step five, cultivate patience and persistence. True hope teaches us to wait on the Lord and persevere in faith, even when our dreams seem out of reach. In Jeremiah 29, 11, God reminds us, For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Let's remember that our dreams can be transformed into something far greater than we could ever imagine. Let go of false hope and let God shape your dreams into His masterpiece. Now stay tuned for part two of this series where I will share what you can do when false hope leads to disappointment. Keep this in mind. Those unmet desires are not the end of a dream, but the beginning of a new chapter written by the author of life who writes the best stories for us. Until next time, choose true happiness and keep smiling. Let's create a ripple effect. If you enjoyed today's podcast, please click to subscribe and then share this podcast with your friends. Your support means the world to us as we continue on our mission to illuminate the path so you can live your radiant life. Thanks for listening. Have a happy and blessed day. Bye.